his St. Alcohol and sex addiction. He's the worst of David Duchovny and the best of Bill Clinton. He recedes his silent progression to the minimum and pushes TNA to the max. He's John St. John, the man who can't even consistently spell his own damned name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the roast of John St. John. Force of 
nature, Kieran Strange. The unstoppable, unsinkable, David Eddings.
out whether or not he's coming down from the weed, like it, it'll be alcohol first. <laughs> Can't tell us why. Obviously, I'm trying to appeal to Duke fans tonight, but if you're a Duke fan, you obviously have no respect for real talent. Ha, ha, ha. 
you doing here? You're in a publicly traded company. Jesus, I know this is step one of your Randy Pritchford apology tour, but come on.
somebody messed things up a lot. Up next from Team Four Star is a gentleman who's known to be very polite, mild mannered. Wait, no, that's the other guy. <laughs> this gentleman is one half of the creative force behind the phenomenon that is Team Four Star. He also acts, right? That's kind of a lot unto itself. But he also acts as the director, co author, editor, project manager, graphic designer, <laughs> voice actor. Did I miss anything? Uh, professional lover. <laughs> and the professional lover for all of Team Four Star. <laughs>
Sorry, that was my new goop joke. I guess it kind of took too long to come out. It was way too overhyped. I was like, oh, yeah. And that is, at the end of a room party, 
He knows exactly when to walk out, just like reservoir dogs. Music going, slow motion walk. Oh, so cool, just as security is walking in. It's a town. It's something that the king of all cons would have. Now, John, I know when you come into the cons, you feel that you are invincible. You are the invincible John St. John. You know, all rugged, ripped. Sort of like this illustration that my son, Max Johnson, put together for me. Look at that. You see that? Yeah. You got a babe on each arm. You got a Duke Nukem. That is actually your image of yourself at the con. But by the end of the con, it's more, well, let's turn to something like this. Oh, <laughs> what has become of you, sir? And what has become of that small tutu? We may never know. Because there are John St. John souvenirs all across this country. And not all of them come with child support. So, John, you're a great man with great talent. And I really wish that I was there with you and David to have an incredible time at the con tonight. But I'm going to send you my love all the way from the Washington, D.C. area. There's no better man and no better voice talent than the man up there on stage, John St. John. By God, he'll be the first to tell you. <laughs>
one of my favourite angry SJWs on Twitter. The only person as obnoxious and angry on my Twitter as I am. <laughs> Scott's the pretty one. He's <laughs> so beautiful. And Nick wasn't here, which means all these wankers have to redirect all of their fat jokes to John. <laughs> Stephen, how's your penis today? If anybody wants to know what happened to Stephen last night, just tweet him. <clears throat> Stephen has the pleasure of coming from somewhere that I grew up in, in England. And uh, he's from Surrey, and I'm from Sussex. And uh, yeah, it's like a stone's throw away, and we do throw stones. <laughs> it's also really nice to be the token woman up here tonight. And thank you, Curtis, for doing the sexy dance, because that means that's one less thing I have to fucking do. David Eddings, Claptrap himself. shitty 
internet telling jokes, I turn into this horrible bitch. So I'm going to show you a video because music is one thing I'm actually quite good at, thankfully. So John, this video is for you. I love you, mate.
Kick the Cat. Thank you. 
really difficult to try to think of some insulting jokes to tell about John because uh, he is truly just, uh, he's everything that you think he is in the world, right? You know, he's bigger than his persona in the life. And, uh, and, and I, I love this man. Um, you know, we've, uh, I, I worked on, on uh, Dick Newcomb when I was at Gallery Developers back in like 98, 99, 2000, 2001. And,
She's a ball buster. She's been called a bitch more times than a white guy in for a life sentence. That's true. And, uh, V, I love you. Thank you so much for hosting tonight. Let's give it a moment.
You're so talented, so pretty, so gay. Which seems like a waste when you think about it, right? I mean, look at it this way, you guys. Okay, the average vaginal canal is eight inches deep. The average male cock is six inches long. If every girl were like her in Texas, that's over 250 miles of wasted pussy. <laughs> This guy. 
guy knows how to fucking party. He has smoked so much weed in his day, I once saw him shit a rope. <laughs> I'm not kidding. David, he likes to party. That's what I like about coming to Dallas. Every time I come to Dallas, I get to party with David Eddings. I'm not saying that I like to coke, okay? But he has cut more lines than a crippled kid at Six Flags. <laughs> Run, run now, run screaming before this gets any other.